The hold first on, one. Before, hold on, before you start, can you like retell, like re-say, like why there's like exclusive or whatever? Okay, so uh, recently I went to Disneyland. We have a family friend who's worked there for three years. Who uh, he, he's worked on Jungle Cruise and uh, Indiana Jones, and that's it. And yeah. so these these are from the standpoint of a of a uh, person who's worked there. Who's been on these rides on his own? Like, that's something you're not going to experience at the parks. There's always all the other people there, and these are these are stories that like aren't, aren't online anywhere, from what I can tell. I'm just looking it up, but yeah. Body so the first real. one, honestly, is is probably my favorite one. There's there was so if you're on <coughs> the ride uh, Jungle Cruise all on your own, and you go to the waterfall area and you stop the ride and you just sit there, you'll you'll hear like a weird like. Like moaning noise from the from like a like a whimpering moaning noise coming from like if you sit there for a little while and you're all on your own and it's dark, it was you'll me. hear that. I'll, it's it's I'll a weird like like whimpering sound and you'll hear it in in like. So the guy the guy that I knew he did this all on his own. He went over there and he he actually heard it and it scared the shit out of him. And this has like been spread around by like tons and tons and tons of people at the park and they don't know what the hell is causing it and that's the scariest thing but people do have theories on what's causing it me coming so i don't know if you know like later in the ride there's the monkeys like at the at the tent at the end. They have a, yeah the monkeys at the end yeah. that have like the gun and mm -hmm. shit so they think that it might be that but they don't know so yeah there's a, there's a weird part behind the waterfall area where if you sit there and you're all by yourself in your boat you hear whining and whimpering, and he's tried it with other people. He's gotten, he did this thing because someone, one of his uh, uh, coworkers, told him about it. So we got a friend on the boat to see if it was going on, and he went over there, and nothing happened. He was like, "What the hell is going on?" Because you only hear it if you're on the ride by yourself and you go to that spot. Is this why you don't get on the job? Yeah. So the next one is a, is pretty interesting too. It's another one where you have to be. We solo. need to get Indiana Jones on this immediately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, uh, the second one is it has, it has to be dark outside first of all, and it's over where the it's over where the elephant herd is at the kind of the beginning of the ride. Mm -hmm. So you go in there, it's dark, and you drive up to the area and you turn your boat off and you sit there, and you have to be by yourself, by the way. And so they they say that if you sit in the spot for more than five minutes, you'll feel somebody get on the boat. And like you, you'll know because you're all on your own, and you'll feel like something get on the boat. And you might just, just be thinking it's the ride just rocking and stuff. But this is coming from this from the view of someone who's worked on this ride basically every day for three years. Like, if you work on a ride for that long, doing the same shit every single day, you're gonna notice what it sounds like when someone gets on your boat, and you're gonna notice what it feels like when someone gets on your boat. And he felt this very distinct feeling of someone getting on his boat, and he turned around and no one was there. And that was that's what happened there, and this this happened. So this brings us to me th to a third story, which is kind of ties us all together, which is really fucking weird. Pardon this me. happened to not him, but to a friend of his, and he told and he the friend told him in extreme detail. And uh, so you go over to you go over to the same area with the elephants, where the elephants are. I think it's either the elephants or the hippos. I don't remember or the hippo, one or the other. I don't remember. So. This this happened. There was a full group of people on the boat, and the friend. I'm just gonna say the the person. They uh, they the 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 ride operator. They heard, or not? They they didn't hear. They smelt the smell of cigarette smoke, and so the the ride operator was like, obviously they they like without even looking at the crew, they were just like, don't smoke on the boat, and, and like, oh yeah, don't smoke on the boat, guys, don't do that. And everyone on the boat was like super confused. It was like, what the hell are you talking about? And then they, so basically, someone on the boat's like, it's not us, it's him. So the one of the, they point out into the jungle, and there's just some random dude out there smoking a cigar, and he's wearing a red suit. Keep that in mind, a red suit. And tape. So immediately they shut down the ride. <laughs> the ride, the ride is shut down. So because the, they, if you see someone, a guest outside of the ride, it's a big issue. Like they got to get that taken care of immediately. Yeah. So they shut down the whole ride, that whole area is shut down, and they look around, like, they basically instantly, like, less than five minutes after they found the guy, like, they have a full wide search going on, and they can't find anything. And they don't know who the hell this was, and there's a dude that was wearing a red suit out there smoking a cigar. So, keep this in mind, because, uh, 
there's there's another thing. If you I don't know if you guys know who Walt Disney is, the guy who literally made Disneyland. Uh, one yeah. of his he favorite rides. To to Disneyland. One of his one of his favorite rides ever was the Jungle Cruise ride. So he would sit there on the bank of the Jungle Cruise ride smoking with his red jacket on. So they think that what they saw was the ghost of Walt Disney sitting out the there. Ghost on the of Walt. Yeah. His chief in a hoe. Yeah, his chief in a hoe on the side of the bank. <laughs> And this has happened several other times. Too, this happened probably two other times in the three years that he's worked there. A guy Bro, was just so spotted. Many off the, the guy was just spotted off the coast of the ride smoking a cigarette, wearing a Disneyland gives me fanatic vibes. Red jacket. And so the, um, it, this was really weird because like, like this has happened multiple times and separate days, months apart from each other, and they and it was always a big issue, and it was always some weird spectral happening that would always happen in this exact same area. And this is the same area where the ghost person would get onto the boat and you wouldn't feel anything, too. And it, oh. it's really weird, though, because Walt Disney, that was one of his favorite rides there, and he would always sit there and watch Bro. the boats go by. You know would be really interesting? Ooh, someone's pissed. Yeah. What if, um, like, Walt Disney or, like, one of, the, like, the ride designers, so it would be, like, really funny just to mess with people? And they, like, would install, like, kind of contraptions and stuff to, like, make it, like, feel or, like, look haunted. You are the definition of overthinking, bro. You fool! I was going to say that! I was just going to say that! I was just going to say that! The fourth story, it's so is that overthinking? It's... Bro, you just took the words right out of my mouth, dog. You just took the words right out of my mouth. There's one final <laughs> story, this weird thing that happened that no one can find or figure out what the hell is going on. So uh, this is this is not on Jungle Cruise, by the way. This is on Indy. So Indiana Jones, uh, in the like right when it first opened, there was an old guy that used to work on that ride, and so there used to be a hidden break room on the ride, basically. And this dude was sitting in there and he was sleeping on the ride, and they didn't kick him out of the park, so he slept there overnight. Turns Damn. out the dude died in his sleep. Damn. So th they find him in the morning, and he's just dead. He's just straight up dead. And nah, the creepiest part was this room where this guy died in like 20 years ago. They cleaned the they cleaned the room obviously. They like got him out of there, but the like room was that? basically just sealed up. <laughs> so all of his stuff was in there still. His mattress is in there. All of his belongings are still in this room. Like like the guy was just in there, like 20 years later. And it's oh. some hidden room on the ride that no one knows where it is. But well, I bet someone knows where it is, but uh, the source that I got the story from doesn't know where it is. And he's been looking for it for a long time. Oh. So, yeah, those Dude, are the Dude, we gotta are work my... at Disneyland and find that secret room, bro. Those are my four Disneyland My, my cousin works at Disneyland. That are never... Wait, Ethan, what ride does he work on? Uh... What's the... Magic Mountain? You guys oh, the mods. space one? Oh. Space one? Yeah, it's Space one. Oh, dude. That was not! The, the dude, they've oh. also said that he's had uh, friends who have seen weird shit on, like, Haunted Mansion and, like, uh, Space Mountain, too, because people will straight up just, like, get their, like, like the remains of people that they love, like, ashes and stuff, and they'd spread yeah, them on I've the Yeah, I've heard about that. Yeah, and they oh, get yeah. I, up. Have you heard what happened in, like, the early days of Haunted Mansion? Yeah, they would they would straight up just vacuum up the ashes, dude. It was terrible. No, 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 no not that, that not that. Ooh, they made that? the ride so scary and the chairs would move so slow that people would piss and shit themselves <laughs> on the ride. <laughs> and it smelled <laughs> so bad that, they had to tune down the ride. Yeah. <laughs> My grandpa went on the <laughs> original version of it. Yeah, but like I, the thing I guarantee... about those two is that they didn't have the internet, so they weren't used to like all the scary stuff. Yeah. Just around. I guarantee if you guys looked up those stories I just told you to, you guys wouldn't find anything on it at all, too. Which we'll is look like it up on your probably because it sounds is really real because I've never been there. Ethan didn't even hear the first two. 